Good morning, my friends. It's Monday, April 29th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I am in the cathedral, but the lights are off. The sun is rising, and the reason I'm here is I wanted to show you our east window. As you can see, this is a depiction of Christ coming again. He's holding out his hand to welcome us. Behind him is a rainbow. And as you can see in this kind of Trinitarian window, which means it sort of is like a triangle, it looks like he's coming on the clouds. This is the eastern direction of the church, the way the sun rises. All liturgical churches face east so that when the sun rises, we see the Son of God reflected in its light. The reason that I bring you here today is that in 1 Thessalonians today, Paul talks about the second coming. He says that Christ will come on the clouds, beckon to us, but those who have died will go to God first, and then the living, and the living will literally be lifted up into the arms of Jesus. It's a beautiful image. It's never been clear to me, though, how it works for people who have died. Do they wait? Are they asleep for a while? And then when they wake up, we're with them and all of time is transcended. And it's only those who are still alive that have to wait to see their loved ones again. Or when they die, do they go to heaven and then we come when it's our time? I don't think we're gonna be able to understand how time works in the second coming. But I do know this, that Paul reassures us, although he was very um, inaccurate as to the when, because he thought it was gonna happen any day now. Um, he talks about God, God will come for us. Do the best you can in this life. Do the very best you can to serve the Lord, because in the end, Jesus will come again and take you to himself. Let us pray. Almighty God, as people who love Jesus, we so want to see you. We want to see your face. We want to see you coming on the clouds. We want you to bless us and call us to you. We can't wait to come with you to where you are and there we may be also. We thank you that you haven't forgotten us and that you come again. We ask you to bless the sick today, Lord Christ, those who suffer and those who mourn. I invite you to speak aloud the names of anyone who is on your heart who needs prayer. Lord Jesus, we love you and we want to serve you. Call us into your service today. Bring peace to this world. Give us appreciation and reverence for this beautiful earth. Draw us closer to your kingdom, Lord, that when you come again, we may recognize you as love incarnate and run to you, fly to you, as if we have always been waiting for you. In your holy name we pray, amen. God bless you, have a great day.